Okay, Resetters, Dr. Mindy here, and I am back with more science. And today I really want to answer the question that you guys have asked us often, which is, if ketosis is so great, should I be in ketosis all the time? So I'm bringing you a science article that's from the Nature Reviews Neuroscience, January 2018, and it really dives into how our bodies were designed. We're, and it answers the question of, were we designed to be in ketosis all the time? So I want to break down in this video what ketosis is. I want to talk about what our design is, how were we designed, and what the article is proving to us. And then I want to show you guys what it looks like if you're not in ketosis all the time. What does it look like to go in and out of the state of ketosis? Because the application of this information can be quite difficult. And if you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. I am bringing you guys as much science as I can. I'm trying to simplify it. I'm trying to help you figure out how to put it into action so you can be the best version of yourself that you really deserve to be. And as always, if you love this video, share it out into the world. We are on a mission, me, my team, we are on a mission to get the world immune strong, get the world metabolically fit, so we can all love living in our bodies and we can be free from pain, suffering, and the chronic disease that is plaguing so many people right now. Let's start off with this idea. What is ketosis? So if you're new to this concept, I want you to understand that there are two ways that we burn fuel for energy. One is from our food. We call this a sugar burner. The second is from fat, and we call this a fat burner. So anybody who's tried to lose weight over the years would obviously say, well, sign me up for fat burner all the time. And being a fat burner, one of the ways that we know you are burning energy from fat is the presence of ketones. And we call that state, we don't, I mean, the common language is fat burner, but we call that state ketosis. So what we were designed and what I want to show you from this article is that we actually benefit so much from being in a state of ketosis. It's also looked at, this state of ketosis is looked at as being a metabolic challenge. So remember in my past videos, we talked about when you challenge the body, it actually repairs better and it can, you can force it to be stronger very much like what we're experiencing in 2020. We've all been challenged in new ways, and what that's doing is that it's forcing us to find new habits, to discover new parts of ourselves that may actually be more beneficial and have more, create more of a richness in our life. Same thing with the body. You were designed to be metabolically challenged so that your brain can function better, your you, uh, joints can repair, that your neurotransmitters can, can be released. So we love ketosis because it is this reparative state. But what is so unique about this article is that it goes on to say that we are meant to be forced into these times of metabolic challenge, but we need to follow it with times, and this is from the article, with times of recovery. And it put in parentheses that recovery is specifically eating, resting, and sleeping. And that when we go into these states of metabolic challenge, when we are in a state of ketosis, and then we periodically follow that with these recovery states, that we improve brain function, that we increase the resilience. This is actually what it says from the article, that we increase the resilience throughout our lifespan. We improve our focus. We increase our moods because we start to repair neurons in our brain. It also went on to say that it creates this neuroplasticity when we go into metabolic challenge and we follow it with recovery, that it starts to improve neuroplasticity so that if we, the brain is ever injured or there's any disease that's forming in the brain, that it will wipe that out and make us more resilient against those types of injuries and diseases. So, and as the, as the article went on, it even went into this idea that our brains developed because we as hunter-gatherers, we actually had the 
these long periods of fasting and we follow, followed them with recovery periods where we were feasting. And that this is what caused our brains to grow into these intelligent things that they are now. So the answer to the question of should we be in ketosis all the time is no, but most of the time. And we want to have times of recovery. So what does that look like? And if you've been following me at all, you know that I am a fan of teaching you how to build a fasting lifestyle. And a fasting lifestyle looks exactly like what I just mentioned, where we are staying in ketosis a good portion of the time, but then we step out of ketosis and we start to lean into foods, foods that build hormones, foods that build muscle. So we have periods of recovery that involve feasting, that, but it's not just feasting like, I'm just gonna go off to my favorite fast food restaurant or I'm going back to my old uh, junk food habits. It is food that is specifically building you up strong so that your recovery from these fasting periods is, is even better. So we call this metabolic switching where you are in states of ketosis and you go into states of recovery where you are a sugar burner. And the most common variation I have taught you guys is called a 5-1-1, where five days a week you intermittent fast and you're doing the ketogenic diet. My version of the ketogenic diet is what I call ketobiotic, where you're doing 50 grams net carbs, 50 grams of protein, and you're working to get over 60% of your food coming from good fat. The biotic part is that when you're in that state of ketosis, you're really leaning into to vegetables and to greens as your source of carbohydrate. So to me, that state where you're intermittent fasting 15 hours and you're doing ketobiotic, you can do that five days a week. That is a really healthy place to be. Now, one day a week, what I want you to do is I want you to push yourself even more. You're gonna go into a deeper metabolic challenge where you are fasting for 20, up to 20 hours, 22 hours. If you can get yourself up to 24 hours, that's even better. And then when you eat, you can eat like, there, that's a great place to eat a carnivore diet or to eat a, you could do ketobiotic again, um, or you could just have a meal that you love that's full of healthy food. But on that day, you're metabolically challenging yourself, like the, like the article said, with a longer fast. And then one day a week, you are not fasting, you are stepping out of ketosis, and you are leaning into healthy foods hormone building foods like beans and squashes and potatoes. You're also leaning into maybe you want to do a muscle building day. I've done a lot of videos on how do you build muscle and, you, and use this, the concept of eating 20 grams of protein every couple of hours to build muscle. So one day a week, you're feasting. Six days a week, you're in ketosis. That would be an example of metabolic switching. And it is the, the easiest first step in the door to a concept that's as sophisticated as, go, as metabolic switching, where you're going in and out of these different states. So those of you that your hair is falling out, you're struggling with weight loss, you're hitting plateaus with ketosis, I'm gonna ask you to step out and do some recovery, feast, give your body some nourishment, and then go back into ketosis, and you're gonna get that amazing result that you got perhaps when you first came to the ketogenic diet, because you were not designed to be in ketosis all day. You were designed to do this process of switching. Now, I know that if you're like me and you find something that you love to do, you just wanna do it all the time. So it's a little scary to step out and feast for fear perhaps that you will not be able to go back into ketosis, for fear you'll gain weight, uh, for fear getting back into ketosis will be more difficult. So this is why I lead groups of people through my resets. And in January, we are doing a whole reset, a 31 day for the whole month of January. We are gonna show you how to go into these times of metabolic ch challenge and how to follow them up with recovery. I'm calling it the reset experience and we are gonna do all the fasts I teach here. We're gonna do all the feasts I teach here 
And the really cool thing about the Reset Experience is that I've gone to some of the people that I really respect the most, health influencers, doctors that are bringing science to you guys, like Dr. Paul Saladino. He's gonna come on and talk to you guys during that month about carnivore. How's the carnivore diet work and where does it fit into metabolic switching? We've got Thomas Daylauer. If you haven't followed his YouTube channel, he's got a great YouTube channel on intermittent fasting. And I wanna talk to him about how we can exercise around fasting. I've got Will Cole coming on to talk to us about keto vegetarian. For those of you that don't wanna do uh, carnivore, well, how do you do vegetarian diet in, and g still get into the state of ketosis. I've got Maria Emmerich coming to talk to us about how we can eat in a keto and carnivore way. We might even get some feasting recipes out of her. I've got Dr. Pompa coming to talk about the power of fat, feast, famine, cycling. So what I did is I gathered all my favorite people and I've put together a whole month process of what I call building a fasting lifestyle where you guys can become metabolically fit and we can, we can do it together in a community. So if you are looking for that kind of experience in January, just put a reset experience in the comments and my team will come in and give you a link. But ketosis, we love it and you're not meant to be in it all the time. You're meant to be in a state of metabolic switching. So as always, I love sharing this information with you guys. You're incredible. You live in a miracle. Your body was designed to be able to thrive in both of these states. And I love showing you. I love teaching you. I love bringing the science to you. And then what I love even more is when you guys leave us comments talking about how this information has changed your life because you are a miracle. Don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. This body of yours, you can love living in it. You were designed to have everything that you've ever wanted this body to do. You can tap into the internal wisdom and metabolic switching is the key. As always, I hope that helps.